Alright guys, so just thought I'd do this quick one. So for ages I've been looking for a tool to remove these circlips on backs of wheel bearings. These bloody Peugeot things are prone for the driver's side front wheel bearing giving up and starting droning. But these circlips are always stuck. You put your pliers in there, you can guarantee you either the ears will break off or you'll snap the end off your pliers. They never ever seem to come out. And I was looking for a tool for ages and I couldn't find them. So I made one. That's what this video is about. So this here is just a piece of, it's hardened steel. So this is hardened steel. It's not just a standard bit of mild steel, it is hardened. And you have to get hardened steel to make one of these. So this is a, I think it's five mil, six mil round bar. And then what I did was I heated it up I know that takes some of the strength out of it, but then you can temper it and quench it and all that and bring it back, so it's fine. Um, and what I did was I put a slight twist on it, so as you can see, it's it's got an angle up. It took a bit of modifying um, when I was doing the first one, but as you can see, this one was stuck. And I've been round it with air, hammer tried it with the pliers and it wouldn't move. And as you can see, it's starting to come out. I don't know if I can do this whilst holding the camera and it might just go a bit shaky and horrible. See how that's pulled that out. So it's starting to... Come on. Get it out. And all it is... You can see how I've just shape that into a point and the idea is that as you hit it in it just goes in behind the circlip because like now I've done that so let's just see <sighs> nope. Yep, and it's not going to go so that tells you how stuck that is um so yeah just a simple tool like i say all you do is put it put it in there behind the groove and then just start hammering and that just starts popping that out and once you've started getting it out i mean it's a lot easier to i mean once you've started you can get a screwdriver or something behind it so let's just see if i can do this one-handed i bet i'm not as good as my buddy ray so, I had a flat blade here somewhere that I was trying to use to get the ABS sensor out. I will say the ABS sensors in these get stuck. They're twenty quid. Don't don't even worry about it. Just knock the head knock the head off of it with a chisel. <laughs> Drill through the middle of it and then pull it out. It's not worth messing around with. They're really not. Blade. See all that rust and cack that just, and that's what holds it in. So yeah, it's a bit difficult to do because I need two hands really. But yeah, you can see the point. So yeah, so just make yourself a one of them up out of a little bit of steel and it does amazing how I mean I didn't even use a big hammer I used a little, like a little toffee hammer just give her a little tap round and then once you start getting that out you, you're good and you can just peel the rest out so just a quick tip for you um, I mean you could use mild steel but it just won't last more than once I wouldn't imagine um, but yeah that's that's my tip for getting out uh, stuck clips in the backs of wheel bearings catch you in the next one